Hello viewers, another beautiful day. Yep, hope your five senses work, health and strength is good. Or, excellent. <laughs> okay, 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 okay viewers. Let's talk video games here. Microsoft purchasing Activision Blizzard is excellent, it's great, it's terrific for the industry. You're like, huh, what? Microsoft purchasing Activision Blizzard it's great, it's wonderful, it's terrific for the game industry. Now you're sitting there, you're like, what? What are you talking about, man? You, how can you say that? You know why you, you know why I can say that? Because it keeps the game in the industry moving. You know, the video game industry is not just stagnant, you know. The gaming industry, it grows, it thrives, it moves based off the Microsoft purchase in Activision Blizzard. You're like, okay, Chris, prove it. All right, I'll prove it. <laughs> Watch this. Listen to this. Gaming industry set to hit 300 billion revenue in three years. Gaming industry set to hit 300 billion revenue in three years. Is that proof enough? All right. Says here, uh, the gaming industry is set for an unprecedented growth. With forecast predicting revenues will exceed 300 billion by 2027, this surge highlights the sector rapid evolution and increasing economic influence. Growth subtopic, growth driver. Several factors contribute to this remarkable growth. Free-to-play games, microtransaction, have become increasingly common. Despite the rising cost of console and games, gamers are particularly those aged 13 through 17 now spend 40% more time gaming than engaging with, with other media such as television. Hmm. Major investments and in acquisition are also propelling the industry forward. For instance, Microsoft uh, acquisition of Activision Blizzard Activision, has sparked significant advancement across various gaming sectors including eSport and mobile gaming. See? Microsoft purchasing Game Pass, I mean purchasing Activision Blizzard, <laughs> is really good for the industry. Xbox is not doomed, so to speak. Game Pass is not the problem. Okay, it's another subtopic. The impact of technology and new releases. Advancement in technology play a crucial role in the growth. Upcoming high-profile game release such as our GTA 6 are expected to generate substantial revenue. Additionally, the rise of gaming influencers and streamers who attract millions of, millions of viewers contribute to the industry booming financial status. And that's the end of the article. So, the gaming industry is fine. Now you're saying, how can the gaming industry is fine um, when studios are being laid off? Well, some studios made bad decisions, you know. Um, um, by by letting themselves be getting purchased, that's one. Probably that's probably that's one. Um, and when they got purchased, for instance, with the em Embracer Group situation, hmm, yeah, and some just uh, probably lost them, didn't have enough financial backing to carry it to carry on, or they just lost their uh, motivation to create uh, create video games. So, uh, Microsoft purchasing Activision Blizzard. Uh, it's good because when Microsoft bought Activision Blizzard, it's about improving their gaming infrastructure. When Sony bought Bungie and all those other studios, it was a, it was about improving their gaming structure infrastructure. And then when Nintendo buys studios, it's about improving their inf uh, uh, their gaming infrastructure. So it keeps the industry uh, growing. Now, the, the article talks about GTA 6. Now. If you add up all the views for GTA 6, it's probably up in the 200, 200 million plus. So that game is going to do financially financially well when it comes out. Okay? On, on, on consoles and even and, and PCs. <laughs> so yeah. Um, this article talks about uh, influencers and streamers. Well, that is true. I mean, streamers. I mean, streamers and uh, streamers and uh, influencers help push the gaming industry too. 
by you know by playing certain games, you know, and the games they grow after that. Matter of fact, take uh, who could I use? That's a good streamer here. Take uh, nin take Ninja who plays off uh, Fortnite. You know, he uh, he helps the he helps the gaming industry grow too. Like um, when they were playing out when when Valorant first came out. I never heard of the game until I saw them play it. You know, I was just messing with YouTube one day and I came across it. And then they, there's there's this game now called uh, Chain Together. A lot of people are playing that game because they saw uh, uh, Ninja played it. So, um, and, you know, influencers and streamers, um, they do participate in the gaming industry. Um, Esport, that's a part of it too. You know, mobile gaming, that's also a part of it. You know, people play games on their phones, you know. So the, the game, the mobile gaming makes a lot of money. <laughs> You know, um, uh, who else? Um, you know, uh, you know these portable PCs too. These portable PCs, uh, you know, like the Steam Deck, A and Neo, One X, GPD, Oxo, Odin, Orange Pi, Logitech, uh, MSI Claw, Asus Rog, Lenovo Legion Go, GP10. They all contribute. To, they all contribute to it. You know, um, so the gaming industry. Is growing, even though you see some studios got bought, and um, Microsoft buying Activision Blizzard. You know that was about making the gaming industry uh, keep moving. You know, instead of being stagnant and not 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 seeing not seeing any uh, you know uh, any uh, any uh, financial growth. You know, it's like they say, sales sales ain't the end all. You know, sales ain't the end all be all to video games. And then there is a and then there is the you know the storefronts like. Steam, Epic, GOG, Games Planet, Green Man Gaming, Gaming Billet, uh, <laughs> you know, Epic Game Store, you know, they all they all contribute to this whole gaming ecosystem, man. So, the gaming industry is moving, man. Um, studios are behind the scene working on games that we don't know about, you know, that are not, that that are in development. So, the gaming industry is. Is moving, uh, is 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 mo is moving, uh, is moving forward. Um, Xbox is not doomed, or uh, Game Pass is not the problem. Man. The gaming industry is moving. It's just Microsoft, Microsoft needed to shake up the game industry a little bit when they bought uh, Activision Blizzard. They need something, something big, something big needed to happen. Something big needed to happen. So, and that's what the act, this the sixty sixty nine billion dollar purchase. Of Activision Blizzard did it shaked up the gaming industry and it put questions on every developer's mind like okay what are what are we worth you know we've been okay there's studios that's been in the gaming industry for years but they're not I mean some of them haven't grown haven't made the next jump to the next step yet so they probably was asking themselves like okay what are we worth what are what are we valued at so Microsoft had to shake up the industry a little bit you know, and let people wake up, you know, and let them know that this is a business, you know, so yeah, and um, yeah, the gaming industry is moving, you know, so even though some, some live service games, uh, you know, um, didn't do so well, you know, it's because they didn't follow, like, like for some live service game, let's take, uh, take the Avengers, if they would have followed the blueprint that, um, uh, DC Universe laid out. You notice DC Universe is still here, um, and people are still playing it. So, if if Crystal Dynamics would have like followed the blueprint that DC that WB Games with DC Universe laid out, the Avengers the Avengers would be successful. You know this. Um, you know because we were at the time when the Avengers came up, we were in an open world gaming environment. You know, we're, you know we we were never in the um, the old ways of video games, like, yeah, that's why I failed because, you know, when DC Universe came out, like, WB Games was saying, like, okay, if you're going to make a superhero game, it needs to be in this format, and if Crystal Dynamics would have listened, would have just took that warning and just, and listened, and then used it, the Avengers would be, it would be in a whole nother, uh, uh, b a ballpark right now, so, yeah, people would be playing that game, so, yeah, um, with, uh, with with Anthem, with Anthem, Anthem just needs some expansions. 
and so, and the story needs to need some expanded a, expansion. And the story needs to be expanded a little bit more. That's the only thing that's wrong with that game, and probably the the environment um, needs to be opened up a little bit to where you can fly to the clouds and back. You know, so yeah, that's what it needs. Uh, what's that? Uh, Suicide Squad Killer Justice League. Um, that game got attacked early. It got attacked early because when people were attacking it. I didn't get it at first. I'm like, why are they attacking this? This is an open world game. But then when I went back and looked at it, I realized why they were angry. They were mad because the game wasn't a Batman game. They were expecting they were expecting that from Rocksteady. But then when the game came out, they tried to change their tune, but they didn't change their tune. They kept the same energy that they did before. So, yeah. And, you know, then uh, Rocksteady came out, tried to blame the, you know, the live, try to blame live service for it, but that wasn't the main problem with that game. That game, um, the the gamers were really mad because Suicide Squad wasn't another Batman game, so to speak. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, um, the gaming industry is fine though. Um, uh, the gaming industry um, is growing and it's moving, you know. And the way these games are being made and being built now, especially in the open world environment, you know, the game is fine. Man. After I mean, after them showing uh, GTA 6, yeah. That game is going to sell a lot when it comes out on both PlayStation and Xbox when it comes out. And then when PC gets it, it's going to even go up even higher. So, yeah. Well, gaming industry is fine, man. Um, you know, uh, 300 billion revenue in three years. Micro, micro tra microtransaction right now is going to be the norm. Yeah. It's, gonna, it's, it's the norm now in video games, you know. D you got to purchase DLCs and expansions, you know. Um, like when you build a game now, it's like you got to build a base, like the, like you got to build a base model, you know, build like a base, like a base model. But then now you need DLCs and expansion now to complete those games now. So, yeah, that's what that's what it, that's what it's coming down to, you know. DLC and expansion is now complete, complete games now. So yeah, gaming industry is fine, man. Uh, uh, it's moving and it's growing, you know. It might not look like it, but it is, you know, so, um, these games now, you know, they, they take, uh, you know, they, um, they take, uh, DLCs and expansions now to, to really complete them, you know, because as soon as you come out with a game now, it needs a DLC, it needs an expansion, it needs an update to keep, keep, keep it moving, keep it growing, you know, yeah, but yeah, I mean, um, kids, what, 13 through 17 right now, well, spent, now spend 40% more time gaming, I guess they're realizing now, like, why am I, like, it's like, okay, why, why are we, what, like, it's like, they're saying, like, why are we sitting here watching TV? We could be doing something else. <laughs> and that's where gaming comes in, so, yeah. Um, for, uh, uh, 13 through 17? Oh, yeah. They're gaming, man. <laughs> Matter of fact, they're gaming right now. Whether we're on the PlayStation, Xbox, Nintendo, PC, they're, they're playing something. You know, portable PCs, they're doing something, man. Laptop, desktop, they're, they're, they're gaming. <laughs> yeah. So, gaming industry is growing, man. 300 billion in three years. That number might even go higher, you know. <laughs> so, yeah. With the way these games are getting now, you know. Um, the next, the next, bit, I mean, games like uh, Elder Scrolls uh, 6 is going to play a big role in that. Um, even Starfield. Yeah, uh, the next Red Dead Redemption is gonna make sure that happens. Um, the next uh, Batman game or next Spider-Man game that comes out, it's gonna make it's gonna push that it's gonna push the push the envelope, man. So yeah, the gaming industry it's fine, man. <laughs> it's growing and it's moving. It's just now it's just that now you have um, DLC. You need DLCs and expansions, man, to um, to complete games now, you know. And um, you know, studios, you know, studios getting getting bought or getting closed up. It's a part of the industry, you know. The pandemic, you know, also created a created a change too. Created a change too in the um, in the gaming industry. The pandemic, you know, and um, the game industry kept moving. You know, I mean, di I mean, digital digital sales. Digital sales even went up. Digital sales even went up when um, 
um, you know, when the pan when the pandemic rolled around, digital gaming um, sales went up, and all every 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 comp every console maker, portable PCs, they all benefited from the pandemic. You know? They all did. PC did. Uh, desktop, laptop, Steam Deck, and all <laughs> all the other portable PCs, you know, benefited from the pandemic. Um, console gamers, you know, Nintendo, Sony, Microsoft. They all benefited from the from the gaming industry during the pandemic. So, so the gaming industry is growing, man. It, it, it is growing. So, yeah. Um, micro tra microtransaction is the norm now. <laughs> ever since EA, um, ever since EA did that loot box <laughs> in Star Wars Battlefront 2, yeah, <laughs> the the uproar the uproar over that is still being felt. But micro microtransaction is the norm now. You know what I'm saying? These games now, you know, you need DLCs and expansions now to build them, to build them and to keep on, you know. I mean, Cyberpunk had a rough look. Uh, Cyberpunk came out, but uh, but CD Projekt Red didn't stop there. They kept pushing. And look at Cyberpunk now. So yeah, <laughs> gaming industry is fine, man. You know, industry is moving. Um, so 300 billion in three years, they might do it in two. The way these games are getting built now. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, that's my thoughts on the whole thing, though. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, though. Nice talking to you people again. Chris, still Star Wars, Star Trek, Thank. Bored, Dark Side. I'm gone. Peace.